Poda, CQ Poda. Hey guys, Tango Oscar Mike. Um, I got a lot of work done this morning. I cut some grass, burned some brush, and I sealed the concrete around our swimming pool. Uh, second coat. That's a pain in the butt. Those fumes are horrible. But uh, I think I'm going to play a little bit of radio now. I was going to work on the trailer some more, and I still might later on today. But uh, right now, uh, Ohio is doing, uh, Ohio Aries is doing a Envis having an Envis day from 10 to 4 today. Uh, and they're encouraging you to use an Envis antenna, low frequency, or uh, low, low angle, so it's a cloud burner. The signal RF should go up and come back down. And they're trying to make close in contacts, and I, since I know they're gonna be on the air, I'm gonna set up my antenna that way and see if I can't reach anybody over there. Uh, I am purposely going to set up next to this stump like I do in the woods sometimes, so I have a place to mount it. That ain't going anywhere. You know what you're supposed to do? Shake it and say that's not going anywhere. Let's guarantee things don't move. Now I'm going to use my dipole. Uh, and the reason I want to use the dipole is I'm going to set it up for 40 meters first. And then I'm going to try to add some sections to it to make it 80. I thought I had them pre-made, but uh, turns out that I used them for something else as usual. So... Now for 40 meter envis you really don't want to be that high. I think it's 15 feet to 20 feet, something like that. So I'm not going to use all of this. Actually, I think I'm going to keep it I think I'm going to keep it right there. I don't think I want to go up any higher right now. November 3, Whiskey Sierra. November 3, Whiskey Sierra. I have you at about a 5555 into Pennsylvania. Roger, Roger. November 3, Whiskey Sierra, 55 into Pennsylvania. Copy the 58 and 1715. Uh, thanks for the activation and have a good day. 73. This is a station in Ohio that I'm picking up on my dipole for 40 meters. I can't tune, uh, even the Elecraft can only tune it like a 2.9 uh, 2 to 1, so I'm not going to try to commu I'm not going to try to use that. I have these two lengths and I think this was for exactly this purpose, but I can't remember, so I need to see if these are the same length. Um, this obviously had a connector on it to make a link dipole. This doesn't, but I assume it probably did at one point. Right. So, uh, I think we're all okay, so I got the antenna, my dipole, I got extra sections added for 80 meters. And listen how loud the station is. Always good hearing you, and we'll go ahead and break with the W8 Foxtrot Hotel Fox. So I'm going to give him a call. And we'll break with Whiskey Bravo 8 Hotel Hotel Papa. And 
And uh, let's uh, look for any other stations wishing to join uh, W8FGT on NDIS Antenna Day. Please call now. November 3, Whiskey Sierra. November 3, Victor Sierra. If I could put that in the right part of my uh, log here. <laughs> Cor three, Victor Sierra. Good to have you on board, sir. Uh, correction, November 3, Whiskey Sierra. November 3, Whiskey Sierra. November 3, Whiskey Sierra. I'm still hearing November 3, Victor Sierra. November 3, Victor Sierra. Is that correct? Negative, negative. November 3, Whiskey. November 3, Whiskey Sugar. Uh, November 3, Washington Sugar. November 3, Whiskey Sierra. November 3, Whiskey Sierra. Very good. Uh, I, 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 yeah, I got you in there. And uh, I got to say, uh, you're, you're fluctuating maybe about a 3 by 3. And maybe if I'm being generous, maybe popping up to a, an S4. But I think uh, you're uh, staying right around a, a 3 by 3. Uh, especially considering how many times I had to ask for uh, uh, you to repeat yourself. Hopefully you're uh, having a, a good uh, a good uh, turnout uh, at your activities today. Uh, Roger, Roger. You're good 5-9 here into western Pennsylvania. I'm in Washington County. That's Washington County. Um, I'm on a linked dipole cut for 80 meters out in the backyard. Roger, Roger. Well, I hope you have a good day, and I'll uh, I'll let you go. Uh, Seventy-three. Not a problem. And uh, good to have you on board. Thank you for uh, joining us. Hopefully, uh, you have a, uh, a good experience with your uh, NDIS activities today. And uh, glad to, glad you're lighting up uh, Washington County down there. <laughs> uh, Roger, Roger. Uh, Seventy-three from November three, Whiskey Sierra. Well, I made a successful contact uh, via Envis to Ohio. I might spin around and see if I can find anybody else, but uh, the antenna uh, works. Now I have the wire wound up at the end of the antenna over there. So now I need to cut it and terminate it and then double check the SWR and still make sure that it's okay. When I cut it, I'll probably leave a little extra and then retune it again. Um, and then I'll have an antenna. Um, I'll have these extra sections for 80 meters all the time. So here's my link dipole that I normally use. Uh, it's just a uh, QRP, guys. I, I should take these wing nuts off and just solder the wires on here. Um, but then I thought, well, what if the wire breaks in the field? I won't have any way to connect it again. Um, so I'm, I'm not... I don't think the wire would ever break in the field, but it's nice to have these wing nuts on here so I can add more on it. I should shorten them. I mean, they're way too long. Maybe I'll just take them off and shorten these uh, screws so there's just a little bit of gap. Um, maybe I can find another way to mount the wires on here that doesn't stick out as much. It isn't as obtrusive. And these are the two extra legs that I made for 80 meters uh, to make that contact in Ohio for the airy section 
Ohio Aries section Envis Day. So I made one contact. I, I really just wanted to get this made. I haven't had, I thought this was made, but I actually had a lot of extra wire that I wasn't using. So I probably won't keep the 80 meter in my pack. Um, I've proved today that I can, this will receive on 80, probably won't transmit. I mean, this really isn't a lot of weight, even with the wire winders, it's, it's probably, a, you know, two, three ounces, maybe. Um, but, you know, I don't know, maybe I will throw it in the pack for now. Um, but I think that's all. I get everything packed up and uh, I got some more chores to do. And uh, it's supposed to rain later, so I'm going to try to get stuff done. It is now 2.45, so I've been out here for a couple of hours playing around with different antennas and uh, different experiments. So I'm going to get some more work done. I have to uh, touch up the concrete sealant that I did on the uh, concrete around the pool. And I'd like to try to set my tent up again before the end of the day. Uh, I haven't used my tent in a while and now I have trekking poles which is what that tent's designed for. And I want to see how much better it sets up with using trekking poles as opposed to like cutting sticks or tying it between two trees. That kind of makes it more freestanding. So that's another thing I might want to do before I go in. And when I go in, Augie's got to get a shower with me because he uh, rolled in I think groundhog poop probably uh, our other dogs did it too i think they do it they're hunting and they're like i'm going to disguise my scent and rule in this pile of crap over here um, it's kind of gross but uh you know comes with owning a dog i guess all of our dogs that lived living in the country all of our dogs have done it at one point um our one doberman was actually really notorious for doing it she would rule in it so good she'd be covered in head to toe and um, it was pretty gross. So I'm going to get uh, get to work and then uh, maybe play again later. There is something I want to try with the tent, which is why I want to do it. Um, a little experiment, but we'll see if I get to that. Hey, this is Tank Oscar Mike, 73. Take care. Tango Oscar Mike.